Today we're on the majesty of the seas. Probably nothing special. So it's the last day of the cruise. This was in uh, May of 2019. No, we've already had our belly flop competition. Now we have the sexiest man competition coming up later. So uh, that was my wife right there kind of looking at the uh, the Royal IQ app on the phone, just trying to keep track of like, you know, what was still scheduled that we, we might want to do and things like that. Because, you know, you're kind of wandering around the ship looking for something to do. Um, the shopping has been interesting uh, earlier. Earlier in the day, we had done a like little t-shirt sale or whatever. Uh, that was kind of, you know, ended up getting a couple of shirts there. Uh, quite a mob at that scene. Um, so, you know, a little bit of shopping going on here. We're just kind of wandering around the ship. This was uh, a full year, uh, a year ago, because I'm putting this video together in May of 2020. So now you have all of the coronavirus stuff going on. So you're going to see in the footage that everything was sort of kind of quote unquote normal because this was 2019 before any of that stuff came up. So no social distancing, no masks, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the app is pretty cool. We ended up uh, doing an Alaska cruise a few months later in the year after this cruise. And so we got on two different cruises, we had a chance to use the new app and the new onboard system. And uh, this was an older ship, of course, on the Alaska cruise. We did it on the Ovation of the Seas, which was a pretty new ship. And I think the Royal IQ app kind of worked better on that one than it did on the Majesty on this cruise right here. But still, it was pretty cool. As you can see, she's pulling up what's available for us to go check out and some of the stuff on the, the information on the sales and things like that. And uh, you're gonna see here in just a second, we go over and we kind of watch down in the little atrium area where they're doing some dance lessons and some kind of group activities. So that's pretty cool. So they use this little area right here on the ship. You see uh, some drums back there and there's a piano over there. And they do a lot of different things on this part of the, the ship. Uh, this was in May and it was right around the time of Memorial Day. So one of the earlier videos in the vlog, we had like a little uh, celebration down here for Memorial Day and for some of the veterans and stuff. And so they did that right here in this little area. And earlier in the vlog series, we had the, uh, the 70s disco party. And of course, this area right here was central to that. So they were using the little area down here, the platform area for the main part of the dancing and all of those stairs that go up and down from the different sides. For the 70s party, they had a lot of the crew members, you know, coming up and down the stairs. So it's a smaller ship, but they, they do a good job of taking advantage of the space available and really maximizing it. And I've, I've said that over and over again on the videos because it, uh, it really is true that even though it's a smaller ship, it's kind of a comfortable ship. It's a cozy, you know, ship. And I actually kind of like the layout in some respects. Um, it's one of the older uh, ships where you have the two-story uh, Windjammer Cafe with the Sorrentos upstairs. You know, you don't see that on the larger ships. Um, so it's, there's a lot of unique aspects to this. There are some areas that I wish they would improve, like the, the photo gallery is still, at least it was last year, is still that old school thing where they print out the eight by 10 pictures instead of doing all digital. But maybe one of these days when they put the ship in the dry dock, they may eventually, you know, bring that forward and bring that into the 21st century. So that'd be kind of cool. Not really sure what's going on with this ship in terms of all of the uh, coronavirus stuff. We're uh, currently in a lockdown period where none of the ships are allowed to cruise. So they kind of have them all out there hanging around out in the Bahamas and just other parts of the world where, you know, they're trying to keep the ships sort of ready to go um, for when the cruising restarts, but it, uh, it's just one of those things. So now we go back out on deck and we're going to join the Sexiest Manned Competition.
our beautiful boys are going to give our lady judges a little bit of a jiggle and a wiggle. That's right. They're going to dance specifically for the girls in the chairs. Now, what I have already told the boys, they must keep their junk in the trunk. Does everybody agree with me? Yeah. Well, I'll show you what's happening anyway. There are children, people. There are children. So they know to keep their pants on, but that doesn't Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you gave it a like. To see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever a new video is posted.